What's up everybody, it's your boy K Dizzle, back with another, done like no other, straight with no chaser, super easy tutorial. Today ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the Forsaken Easter Egg, one of the most easiest Easter eggs out there. Before we get started, make sure you push the like button, turn on your bell notifications, share this video, comment, subscribe and most importantly watch till the end to see the boss fight first things first as soon as you spawn in you want to dash quickly to the teleporter and interact with it a timer will be set off and you'll be given 30 seconds whilst the teleporter is warming up in the meantime in between time you can be killing time by taking care of the horde of zombies out to kill you the rounds will be going up faster than usual and not in the traditional manner you are used to so it's important to get the teleporter working so you can go to the next bit where the rounds will go back to normal. Now you can start the next step. The next thing that you need to do is follow the exclamation marks until you get to the teleporter that needs to be fixed. Once you get there, you'll be prompted to find four parts, which I'm now going to show you the locations. The first part is located in Burger Town and is a fryer cage. It could be located in any of the three spawn locations. It could spawn here. Next location is here. And last spot is here. Next part is the torch which is located in the cinema and has three spawn locations. It could spawn here in the mannequin's hands. Next it could spawn on the bench. And lastly, by the counter in the display unit. The third part is the cathode ray tube which can be found in the TV store. The first spawn location is behind the counter on the second shelf. The second location is on the little table next to the plant. And the third location is on the display shelf above the little yellow radio. And finally, the fourth part, which is a circuit board, which spawns in the video store. At the back, now I'm going to give you the three known spawn locations. First is on top of the boxes as you walk through the door. Next is on the little shelf on your right. Last but not least on the boxes on your left. Once you've located all parts, return to the teleporter and fix it by interacting with it. Once you've fixed it, use the teleporter to take you to the bunker. Once in the bunker, make your way down the hallway and into the amplifier room. It's easy to take down this elite. All you have to do is shoot it when its head turns purple. That's its weak point. And remember, don't rush it, run away, cause it charges like a bull. So step aside, come back and try it again. Don't be rushed to try and take it down if you're not used to its mechanics or how it fights. Once you've taken it down, you need to teleport to the observation tower. Once you have arrived, go and push the red button, which will turn pack on and release all locked doors. After that, you need to press the red button, which is located here, which will take you to a cutscene. Two rounds after the cutscene, a prompt will tell you that something has landed. That something will be three big crystals in three separate locations. For the next step, you will need a abomination to spawn in. Once you have the abomi, head over to the boardroom. Line yourself by this wall so the abomi can charge at you. Make sure you get out of his way when it's close and it can bang the wall causing the part you need to fall down. For the second part of the neutralizer, you need to head over to the fuel processing where if playing solo, just head over to one of the tanks and press square. If you're on multiplayer, everyone needs to go to a tank and press square at the same time then all of you have to do is kill all the zombies that spawn until the tanks are full be very careful here because the zombies will be coming in hordes and fast like in the movie world war z once the tanks have filled up they will drop you the part that you need for the neutralizer for your third and final part, you would need to head over to Pack-A-Punch because for this particular step, you would need the ammo mod dead wire. Now that you have dead wire attached to your gun, you need to head over to the arcade. Go to the Grand Prix game opposite the pinball machines and shoot a zombie when it's next to it. This will cause a spark to bounce off the zombie to the game turning it on. Next, you want to play the game by paying 2000 and an ARCXD will be deployed. Drive the car to the TV store, go around the counter, through the vent, the pulses coming from the car will blow the vent cover away. Next, drive the car to the shelf with boxes, make the car jump and explode immediately. What that will do is blow a hole so you can come and pick up the TV parts you need. Voila, as easy as one, two, three. Now go collect your part. Now that you have all three parts for the neutralizer, time to move on to our next step, which is the crystals. 
For the next step, you will need the wonder weapon. And this is how you can obtain the wonder weapon. There's four ways of obtaining the wonder weapon. First is by using the mystery box. Second is by doing trials. The third way is by playing the arcade games in the arcade. And finally, you can build it. I will put it in my description after I've posted this video so that you can check out the tutorial on how to build the wonder weapon. Now that you have the wonder weapon, I'm now going to give you the locations for the crystals. First is by storage, zone 5. Second is by spawn. And the third is in the particle accelerator area. All you need to do is shoot the revolving orbs with the gun attachment of the wonder weapon. Just press up on your D-pad to switch from the axe to gun. Once you have shot all three orbs, turn the weapon into an axe and go and smash the crystals. As soon as you do that, an abami should spawn in. Go pick up all the crystals from the center of the smashed crystals and then feed it to the abami. How you ask? When it shoots the electric beam, throw a crystal into its mouth. If done correctly, you will hear it chew it and then swallow. Then its tail will glow orange at the tip. Kill the abomi and retrieve your crystal. Don't worry if you miss the abomi. Pick up another crystal and try again. If you kill the abomi by accident, don't worry. Just do the other crystals and then another will respawn in a couple of rounds. Once the abomis have cleansed all three crystals for you, you can return to the main street and craft the stabilizer. Note. Once you craft it, only pick it up if you're ready for the boss fight. If not, get everything you need. The weapon that you'll be mainly using in the boss fight is the wonder weapon. So make sure it's upgraded at least twice, even better fully upgraded. Picking up the stabilizer will start your little road trip to the boss fight. The stabilizer will run out of juice now and again. You have to then run and get some by shattering orange crystals along the way and picking up the orange crystal and taking it back to the stabilizer. Once your journey is complete, you will get another chance to buy perks or armor before the boss fight. So if you got money to burn or if you've lost anything, then buy what you need before you enter the ring. Once you enter the arena, first thing you want to do is head over to Maxis who will be hovering with a purple ring burning on the floor like ring of fire. All you need to do is kill zombies in that ring. This will fill up Maxis's meter. Once it's full, she will power up a cannon for you. Next, shoot at the boss's weak points to break his armor. Once his armor is broken, go to your cannon and blast the boss to smithereens. Repeat this until the boss is dead. You will get a cutscene halfway through the fight and then a cutscene after the fight is done. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Easter egg tutorial done. I wish you guys good luck and I know you can defeat this boss because I personally believe that this Easter egg is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. And remember, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love, yo. Weaver, the phase is expanding. Make sure you... Rav it off. Oh, shit. We're getting reports about break zones expanding around the globe. You will not consume this world. Not as long as I am here. Sam. Whatever you're thinking of doing, don't do it! I'm not a bad person, Weaver. I am a good soul. I know what I have to do. I'm sorry. This is the only way. <laughs>